morning guys and welcome to this week's vlog ignore the way i look right now i've just jumped out the shower my hair's obviously very damp so as always i'm gonna start off the day making a smoothie So in today's smoothie we have kale, spinach, banana and pineapple. Um, I want a little bit of ginger as well mixed in with some Vita Coco coconut water. It doesn't look great but it actually tastes amazing. The sweetness of the banana and the pineapple completely counteract the spinach and the kale so it's very healthy for you. Okay so my first job of the day, I'm currently just working from the sofa because it is what's the time 8 21 but yeah first job of the day i had to send off some content to a brand and i sent it off in like individual stories they wanted it all in one big clip so i've just edited that all together now now i'm just going to send it off to them ready for approval and then this was another video i was doing and i had to make a couple of tweaks to this because i missed out some information so i just added a little voiceover with the missing information so i've been doing that for a while now and i'm all ready to send it off to my manager so i'm just packing up the giveaway winners boxes i always have so much fun doing this i did a giveaway on my instagram and i felt bad that there was only one winner so i then added two extra winners to win all of these lovely bits and pieces so i'm just writing some thank you notes right now to pass all them up and send off so i've just done my makeup and now i'm going to film a dyson air wrap tutorial i've been saying i'll do it for so long now so i'm going to just film on igtv my plan today is to go to westfield and do a bit of shopping um so i'm going to do my hair anyway so i thought kill two birds with one stone because every time i Oh, I always leave this door open and it really drives me crazy. There we go. Hi guys and welcome back to my IGTV. I hope you're all having a lovely day so far. Okay, no joke. I've been trying to film for like an hour and I've got no footage. I'm just having one of those days where I feel like I just don't look like myself and I don't feel confident. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I'm thinking I'm just going to sack off filming. Um, do it on a day where I'm feeling better about myself. So yeah, I'm gonna go head into Westfield now, do some retail therapy, hopefully make myself feel a bit better. I've got some returns to do, and I just wanna get some more like autumnal pieces in my wardrobe, especially things like tops. I feel like I'm running low on tops and I just want some really good quality basics. So I'll take you guys with me. I'm also gonna have a look at the home section, of course, because Westfield home section is unreal. Okay, so I pulled myself together. I've got a nice outfit on. This is from Topshop. Primark, Leather Leggings at Topshop and my Gucci loafers. I've also recently received some beautiful new jewellery. This is a diamond necklace from Majuri with a matching ring and then like a diamond band ring as well and it's just so pretty. I absolutely love my jewellery and I think this is so dainty and considering they are diamonds and real gold they are so affordable and um, so I'll link them down below. Also look at today's hair gone for something a little bit different that is a bit out of my comfort zone but i thought why not so in the car ready to go i never drive to go shopping i always get the train um or tube or whatever but i was thinking if i've got stuff to return and i want to buy some bits it will probably be best to drive because that means i can carry more especially if i want to be getting some homeware bits and also oh god that journey took so long to be fair it took me like maybe 15 minutes to drive here and then the last Last road that was just the biggest traffic jam ever so face mask on okay so first off I'm gonna go into West Elm I've actually never been into this store before so this is an exciting one for me oh my god guys they have moss <laughs> absolutely love these marble trays they're so gorgeous and look at all of this gold I want to get some of these things they're so pretty and dainty absolutely love this marble tray with the gold so pretty and all of the gold details on these plates are very gorgeous you just stop touching things keep on getting about corolla so i asked about buying these and they're 39 pounds a stem which is kind of crazy so just one is 39 so if you were to get two it'll be like 80 pounds so i think i'm going to leave those for now i also do love this moss bowl i don't think it's designed for moss but i just think it's a beautiful bowl um, so this is £82 and I think it's so nice. This is definitely potential for £82 on a bowl. I feel like that's a bit silly. Okay, H&M Home. Hopefully we'll have a little bit more luck in here. Oh my god, they've got their Christmas decorations. 
honestly it's an actual joke how excited I am because yeah, I cannot wait to get a tree this year. So I'm looking for a gold tray, just like this one, but I just don't like the way it's got leather in the middle. Um, I'm sure H&M will have something similar though. So they have these ones, but these look a bit too antique for me. And they've got a square one. And they've got this one that's just a bit too fussy, this one's like really, really plain. Also, love this gold tray here, it'd be so cute for perfumes, for like jewellery and stuff, very pretty. So I only picked up some candles from H&M Home because I couldn't decide on what to get. They didn't have a lot of variation. Anyway, now I'm just getting some returns out my car. Okay, so I'm now in Stradivari. I've just spotted these boots and they are so cool. I don't know if they would suit me. Love this jacket as well, really gorgeous. I also love these leggings here, but it's not a massive fan for bottoms. Also, this jacket here is absolutely gorgeous, but I do not need any more jackets, that's the real. Got some cute knits. This blazer here is so gorgeous, very Chanel vibe. Cute little cardi. Oh, very Christmassy over here, love it. Okay, so it was a super successful shopping trip. I've got so much. Can't wait to show you guys everything I picked up. I'll do a little haul, of course. Okay, so I am back. Oh, how nice is it when you take your mask off after wearing it for like two hours solid? I actually don't know how doctors and nurses do it. I guess they must have it on for like their whole shift. So honestly amazing people. The hand sanitizer I use by the way is from Keelene. How cool is this? You attach it to your keys. So you're literally never without hand sanitizer. Such a lifesaver. Um, I'll link them down below. They are just amazing. Anyway, I need to go home now. I also need to go get some petrol, which is never fun. I think I said earlier my goal was to get some like nice basic tops. Didn't get a single basic item but I got two coats and, and I don't have the room for two more coats so I don't know what is wrong with me. Wow oh, it's a tight squeeze. Whoa I completely this can't be right. Oh no I've gone through the motorbike exit. Oh I'm an idiot. Oh my god who actually does that? It did say exit to be fair. <laughs> oh my god, I've actually gone through the mode twice, hits it. I was thinking this is a really I was thinking this is a really narrow exit. Like how can a normal car fit down here? Oh my god. I'm always too small to do the ticket. Why is it telling me to pay with my card? I've already paid. It just made me pay twice for parking, that's not normal. the petrol station oh yes very i'm always very happy when it's an m&s petrol station because you know you can get the good snacks m&s honestly just supply the best snacks we have black truffle and olive oil crisps percy pigs of course i've just got a drink as well because i'm so hungry um and i can't wait for dinner if you haven't already tried these you have to because they're the best things hi hiya you okay yeah, I was just calling because I was in M&S. I wanted to know if you needed anything. Oh, no, all good. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, see you in a bit. Bye. Here is all my shopping. Here is B looking for the remote. And here's the dinner bee coach. It's lovely. I can't find it. Oh, I found it. <laughs> Before I have dinner, I have to post an ad because I said I had to post it at this time. So we are just watching, what's it called? What's it called? Ugh, I can't talk. What's it called? Uh, the Haunting of Bly Manor. The Haunting of Bly Manor, it's quite good. It's basically screen. Um, and I'm just going to do a bee's hair for her.
good morning guys look at this beautiful morning light it makes me so so happy the first job of the day is to put some eye patches on because i'm looking very sleepy this morning so these are the pixie ones and i keep them in the fridge um so they're really nice and refreshing Second job of the day is, of course, to make a cup of tea. So, I've done my hair and my makeup. Well, I haven't really done my hair. I just left it in a plait overnight. And I'm getting ready because I'm going to shoot in Central with Freya today. I'm wearing this really lovely khaki jumper that I actually picked up from Topshop yesterday. So, yeah, it's a beautiful day outside. I'm really looking forward to shooting. What is this in my hair? I've been a bit stuck in a rut recently with work and shooting. Um, and I found it quite difficult for a while. And at the moment, I just don't love the content I'm putting out there and it's really frustrating when it's your job and you are the person in control of it because you've only got yourself to blame really and I'm just kind of frustrated that it's not at the level I want it to be. It's really hard to explain. I feel like it's such a personal thing. Nobody else is really going to like see it from my point of view. Um, like when I talk to B about it, she's like, Kate, what are you talking about? Your content is like lovely. But yeah, I don't know. I do really like the outfits I have got today. So fingers crossed, I love the content. We currently got clothes spread all over my bedroom because that happens every time I try to pick outfits. So I'm gonna give it a really quick tidy before I leave. Does anyone else hate leaving their room messy? Because I do. Not saying that I leave it tidy, but I always do end up leaving it messy because I'm always in a rush. Anyway, let's give it a quick tidy. <laughs> Currently in Louis Vuitton. My mask is off by the way because we're just in a little seating area. Freya's just looking at some. Oh, Freya's on a spending ban. She's on a spending ban, but she's also buying on shoes. Um, and I've also just spotted some gorgeous boots over there. Yeah, see, they are better without socks, but like they're tight. Yeah, the, it is leather though, so it will soften. True. I feel like this is really rubber. Yeah, you'd have to break them in really well. So yeah, we've been shooting all morning, I've done about three outfits, gonna go get some lunch now in Mayfair, which would be really nice. I'm wearing another thing that I bought yesterday, this is a blazer coat from Mango, really really love it. Uh, top top leather leggings and Zara boots. Honestly I'm in love with these but I just don't want to buy them today because I've only seen them today and I feel like that's just way too impulsive. And these are the ones that Fry is looking at. I already said that. So, I just... so didn't buy anything in Louis Vuitton, um, just looking at this bag. It's one that I've had my eye on for so long now. Um, so I might go in and have a little look at it now. So I've finished up shooting for the day. Both got some salads, got some chips. This is a gorgeous sprayer. I just got home it is now like five o'clock i don't know how Freya and i took so long today but we kind of just took it quite slow obviously we went shopping and we also got lunch so that's actually probably why anyway as soon as i get home first thing i do wash my hands second thing i do is have a shower get into the comfy clothes and make a cup of tea so that's exactly what i'm gonna do now So I'm just having an interview with these two lovely girls here, all the way from, is that Austria did you say? Austria. Austria. Austria, oh my god. Um, I'm just having a chat about influencing and it's so much fun, they're both so lovely. Oh, hello everybody. Aw, oh, cuties. See you later. Thank you so much. Alright, bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. bye. Oh my god, they were so sweet. Um, so Lisa messaged me on Instagram and asked if I would do an interview for her thesis and I said yes. Because I remember when I was at uni and I was like trying to get influencers to talk to me and I wanted to interview influencers so I've been in her shoes. Yeah, that was really fun, something a little bit different. Now, what am I gonna do? I'm like really hot. I get really hot when I'm like chatting so much. I might pour myself a glass of red wine. Here we go, cheers. B still wasn't home, I don't know where she is. She's normally home by now. Must be having a late one at work. Okay, so I'm an idiot because completely forgot B is going out with her friends tonight. Um, she does have friends other than me. You know when I was curling her hair last night, that's why I was curling her hair, because she was going out. So yeah, I'm gonna just make some dinner for one really quick probably just have leftovers from last night to be honest so I just need to tidy up the kitchen guys look how cute my pumpkins are 
I went pumpkin picking the other day and I picked up these three. So I got a orange one, a green one, and then this baby one. I felt really bad for him. He looks like a bit of an outcast, so I thought I'd pick him up as well. Yeah, it cost me 50p. I don't even know if this is edible, but it's cute. <laughs> He's just like, what? Okay. Oh no, why is it doing that? Oh my god, I didn't tell you. What? Right, in the middle of the night, I woke up at like... Good morning guys, so it is now Friday and as promised I'm going to do a little haul of everything I picked up the other day in Westfield. So I'll start off with this really cool jumper. This one is from Topshop and it is like a two in one. So it has like this shirt attached underneath and then this beautiful knit with this big collar over the top and I just love the big exaggerated sleeves and I just think it's so cool the way it's layered. So I picked this up in a size me- hold on a second. Sorry about that, let's continue. So yeah, I picked this up in a size medium. Only thing I have to say about it is the collar can be a bit weird. And when I first put it on, I actually looked like I was either in a neck brace or Henry VIII's wife. But if you kind of play around with the collar and like fold over and stuff, it's okay. Um, but yeah, I do really, really love this. It's just such a great autumnal piece. Okay, and then next up, I picked up this coat from Mango. I just loved the colour of this. It's this beautiful like oatmeal colour and I just thought it looked so expensive. I think it was £120, I'll double check though. And it's just so minimal, like even the buttons are like these little magnetic buttons that you can barely see and I just really love that. I just thought it looked so chic and classy. It also has this belt around the middle so you can do it up like that. And I love the length of it. I just thought everything about it was just gorgeous. And then I got this in a medium because I always like my coats to be a bit oversized. I just feel like sometimes an oversized coat can just look a bit more expensive. And I don't know why. Maybe it's just the excess material. But yeah, this one's so nice. And then I also picked up these knee-high boots. These are also from Mango. Um, I actually originally picked up a pair from Bershka. Then I went back into Mango and then I saw that they had these and I much preferred these to the Bershka ones. So they have a little heel which is like the perfect height because it gives you a bit of height but they're going to be so easy to walk around in all day. So these were £60 and I just think they're such a great autumn winter staple. And they actually do fit to my legs really nicely, like they're not too baggy and they don't fall down. Knee high boots it's quite hard to get them right because you don't want them to be super super tight so they look like leggings but you don't want them to be baggy either and I feel like these ones are just perfect. Next up we have this jumper here. This one is from Topshop and um, I actually saw this online and I didn't really think about buying it. Just because the pictures online just don't do it justice to real life. First of all, it is really nice and soft. I don't know if the camera's actually picking up the color very well, but it's this beautiful, deep khaki color. It's just a really simple design, but I really loved the color. And again, it's just a very autumnal piece. So I thought I'd pick this up as a good little basic. And I picked this up in a size medium. I'll link everything down below as always. And then I picked up my first winter accessory, which is this super big oversized snuggly scarf. So I picked this one up from Bershka and it is honestly so soft. It feels just like a cashmere, but without the cashmere price tag. This was only 12.99. Um, I feel like Zara always do these kind of scarves and they're normally about like £30, so this was an absolute bargain. And yeah, I just love how big it is and it's just going to keep me so warm in the winter. And there you go, you can proper wrap yourself around and I absolutely love it. And then underneath is this blazer jacket here. This one is again from Mango and I picked this up in a size small because it's already kind of oversized. So I think this one was like £80, which it seems expensive for a blazer, but honestly the quality is insane. It actually feels more like a coat rather than a blazer because it's very thick and as you can see it's got very structured shoulders. As you guys know I took photos in this yesterday so I'll pop those on my Instagram soon so you can see how I styled it. And then last up I picked out this knit 
from Mango. And I want to try it on for you guys, but I just don't have anything to style it with at the moment. I feel like this would look amazing with a really nice crisp shirt underneath, but I actually don't have a crisp shirt. I've only kind of got summery linen-y shirts. But you might remember a few hauls ago, I picked up one like this from Zara that was a high neck and I said I wish that it was a v-neck. Anyway, found a v-neck version, absolutely love it. I just love the way it kind of drapes so nicely on the shoulders. And again, it's just a really simple design that will look really good layered up. So I got this in a size medium and this was 35 99 So you know the doorbell rang halfway through that haul. This has just arrived and I'm not entirely sure what it is, so I'm gonna open it with you guys. This is very cute. What are these called? Are they called bunny tail? And then what is in here? This is so exciting. I love surprise deliveries. So look at this really beautiful briefcase. It's got my name on it. I'm so excited what this could be. I've actually got no idea. Oh my God. Oh wow, um, let me put that goes down again. This is honestly one of my favourite parts of the job is getting parcels, PR packages like this and it's always just such a surprise. Oh my goodness. Oh, so this is from the Napco and they basically do really beautiful loungewear and like bed linen and stuff like that. Oh wow, this is beautiful. So they sent me this gorgeous package with these pyjamas in. These are kind of like an off-white creamy colour and they are so, so 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 soft oh my god and they have k on them i love anything that's personalized that is so pretty and there's a really lovely box of goodies so we have some hotel chocolate a dip teak cleansing hand and body gel wow one of these candles i see these candles all over instagram they're so cool some restoring night eye gel cream oh my god that's such a lovely parcel Right, I'm gonna put these into a vase. So I'm looking forward to today. I've got some really exciting things um, coming up. I've got a meeting with Penn Halligans, who are one of my favorite perfume brands. A lot of you guys will know. I'm obsessed with their perfume, Halfetti and Luna. So I'm meeting with them for lunch this afternoon, which I cannot wait for. Um, and then I'm going into Sapphire and getting a facial and my eyebrows done. So yeah, and then this morning I have just done editing, admin, boring stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll take you along to the fun stuff. So I thought I'd do a really quick tutorial on how I do my um, plait ponytail thing. I mean, it's very self-explanatory. I'm sure that most of you can work it out, but just in case anyone wanted to see a tutorial, I thought I'd do one. So um, I start by putting a bit of texture spray into like this bit of my hair, just because this is where I get flyaways and it just gives my hair a bit of hold. I'll put a bit of dry shampoo in there too. This is the Living Proof Dry Shampoo and it is really, really good also smells absolutely insane. I will then put my hair into a ponytail. I don't normally like using these kind of hair bands, but I do feel like it looks a lot neater. And then I will literally just plait my hair. And then secure it in place with one of these little invisible um, like elastic bubbles. And then I'll finish off with some Gizu oil in my hair, just a tiny bit to give it a bit of smooth and shine. So I'm just making a really quick smoothie before I head out. This one has two bananas, a big handful of spinach, peanut butter and honey, and this just tastes like a banana smoothie. It is so yummy. Again. So I'm just en route to my meeting. I've just got my maps up because I've actually never been to this place. It's called Wild by Tart. But it's really, really nice. Okay, so I've just arrived and I'm early. I absolutely love being early for meetings. So I'm just going to chill here and wait for the lovely girl who works at Penn Halligan's to come and then I'm going to grab some lunch. I've never been here before and I don't know why because it is honestly so pretty and the menu looks so yummy as well. While I'm waiting, I'm just doing some work, doing some selects. Um, Topshop renewed my contract, which is just the best piece ever. Um, they're one of my favourite brands to work with. So, um, just making all of the selects for the upcoming campaign. So, I've just finished my meeting and I'm now walking to Sapphire. Okay, so now in Sapphire, about to get my 
um, eyebrows hennaed on again. I absolutely loved it last time. I'm really looking crazy. Look at my eyebrows, guys. Don't worry. She obviously wipes them off. But these are the henna brows, and I mentioned. Oh my god, I actually look really weird right now. But yeah, I've got them once before, and they lasted like a good eight weeks, two months at least. Obviously, I got my eyebrows microbladed before. But I am really enjoying head brows, so I might just continue doing these for now. Just in the Uber home at the moment. I've got my nails done as well. Now, into this really pretty colour, it's called satin pyjamas. A little bit darker than what I normally go for, but yeah, it's really pretty. Oh my god, my hands look so wrinkly and weird. <laughs> I've just got home and I've lit all the candles up the place is looking super cozy i've just put these flowers these dried flowers in a vase these were from the pr package got one of my favorite diptyque candles lit this is the bays one i don't know how you say it and then the living room is looking all cozy as well Bee's home from work and i'm just deciding what we want for dinner at the moment but i thought i'd quickly show you guys what i got from ben Hannigan's. So ignore the way I look right now, I'm such an egg and I've got no makeup on obviously and loads of oil in my head. So I got a, uh, what was it called, a miso facial and it's similar to microneedling but about actually getting into your skin. So it just presses hyaluronic acid and vitamin C into your skin and my skin honestly feels insane now. Like it feels so soft, it feels like really tight. But like in a nice way, if that makes sense. Daz told me not to mention it because she wanted me to have a few more sessions to see if I liked it first. But honestly, I can see results and feel results straight away. So I'm going to mention it anyway. Then obviously I also got Heather Brows and she's just done an amazing job as always. So I'll show you guys what I picked up from Penhaligans. So I got another Halfetti perfume. So this is my favourite out of all of the... Penhaligon's perfumes. Only way I can describe it is it just smells really like expensive. Like you can tell that it's an expensive perfume and yeah it just smells like you're some really rich wife or something. I don't know like honestly the best smell. It's definitely like a love or hate kind of smell but I just think it's amazing. It's quite like an oody kind of smell and although it is expensive it's the kind of perfume that you only spray on yourself once and then you're good for like a day and if you don't shower then you can smell it on yourself the next day like it really does just stay on your skin and on the clothes you wear so um yeah i can't recommend these enough they're just so lovely and then these three mini ones so this one is actually i think this is more of like a men's one yeah it says it's a cologne so i'll probably gift this to like my brother or my dad but um i have smelled this before and it's very lovely and then these two i haven't tried but Alexander, who I met with, she said that this is her favourite, so I'm excited to try this one. And look how tiny and cute the bottle is. So this is their mini ones, which I think are like £60. I don't know how to describe that. This smells lovely. I can't really describe the scent. It's quite like a fresh... B, how do you describe this? Okay, so B says peppercorn. I feel like it kind of smells a bit like a candle. Um, kind of candle. I don't know. It smells like peppercorn and flowers. It's nice though. Yeah, lovely. Uh, and then this one is mandarin. Again, that's kind of peppery, but with like a really nice citrusy, orangey smell. I feel like that's the kind of smell that like your rich aunt would have who goes traveling around the world. My favorite is still Halfetti, and another one I really like is the Luna which is a lot more light and a lot more kind of fresh and fem feminine. I'd say the Halfetti is quite heavy, but I personally love a quite heavy perfume. I like it to kind of linger on me all day. We've got delivery, yay! We both ordered pasta. Should we get plates? Yeah, good idea. Yeah, rewind it, that was really good. I'm gonna this bread. Hey guys so i'm just editing this vlog and i realized that i forgot to finish last night so yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here as it is now saturday also quickly before i end the vlog look how straight my teeth are getting i feel like the last couple of weeks i'm really starting to see proper differences and i'm here for it anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i hope you all have a really lovely week and i love you all so 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 much bye Mwah.